So well, that's fucked. I guess we just carry on. Um, next save point, I'm gonna stop because uh, I have to get out for work tomorrow. But oh, here we go. We'll probably finish this tomorrow night. Wait, this seems familiar. It's been around in a circle. Round round. Never find the end, never seen the beginning. I can't get into any of these. So familiar. Uh, Outlast is good, but I haven't got far in. Oh, fuck, I need. Um, so, what the fuck? Sticks. Hello, thirteen. Concerning patient thirteen, I fear patient thirteen, born on the premises, July seventh, nineteen eighty-seven. Fuck, that's my birthday. Well, not nineteen eighty-seven, July seventh. Has a rough future ahead of her. After her mother died giving birth, complications with rapid blood loss and a concoction of narcotics present in her system. We've tried everything we can think of to find her a foster family. She's the sweetest baby imaginable. And most of the nurses give her extra attention. Shortly after she arrived, we did a search for any family in the area, but our in investigation led us in a curious direction. The name Gwyn apparently has a long and checkered history here. The oldest accounts go back to the legend of the 13 witches who were supposedly killed right here on Mid-Island. The surviving Gwyns were apparently run out of town thereafter. I doubt there's a connection, but some of the more superstitious staff can't help but marvel at the coincidence of the number 13. While 13 doesn't suffer from fetal alcohol sy syndrome, she does suffer from periodic blackouts. Some, some of the doctors on site believe it could be narcolepsy, but I'm not convinced due to other issues. Thirteen sometimes stares off into space for hours at a time. She never cries for food. She facilitates between being exuberant to catatonic. How will we ever find her at home? Her first foster, foster family brought her back citing odd behaviour and any objects in her room mysteriously relocating overnight. Some of the nurses say her mother cast a curse on her, but I believe she was just speaking nonsense before her death. There is no doubt that 13 is special. I wish I could take her myself 
as we prepare to shut down. I will confess that I will miss you, Sarah Gwynn. May God help you grow into the lady we all know you can be and not the product of your legacy. Let's begin. You remember, don't you? Your poor mother screaming in pain, gasping as she brought you here. All that time spent hiding, trying to protect you, failing to protect herself. All that time sick and wandering, only to be brought back here to die. How her heart sank when they wheeled her in, knowing in spite of it all, they'd find you again. You're quite lucky, you know. Despite having ended her life, she loved you, Sarah. She really did. The last thing she did protected you, cast you in light. And yet, the darkness, you know. The blackouts, the blackness so thick you can hardly see. It kept them from you, Sarah. It kept you being you, even when you didn't know who you really were. Holy fuck. Completed it, fuck. Just like something it's her. Saver. Yeah, I just managed to finish it. I thought it was like longer than this. It took me a few hours though. Story. 
Okay, so that is it. Damn. Alright. So, I'm going to put a link in the chat. I'm going to send you off to raid someone. One, one, one of my good streamer friends. Uh, Mr. Seafell Ninja. Go check out what he's playing. Um, yeah, just raid him up. Yeah, let's raid him up with the Trident Raid. Um, and enjoy, and thank you for watching. Uh, follow because uh, I am also playing Outlast later on. Like tomorrow night, even. So, yeah. Check it out, Raid Up Ninja. He's playing some Far Cry 3, so yeah, multiplayer that is. So, see you later, people.